Now then, my friends, I have been to a fish and chip shop the other day called Murgatroyds, which you may have seen. If you've not seen that one, have a look at it. I'll pop it on the end. And it was huge. It literally was like Jaws. I even put a clip in there of you're going to need a bigger boat. Well, it was you're going to need a bigger, you're going to need a bigger box because it was insanely huge. However, somebody has been in touch with me and said, hang on a minute, there is one bigger than that at Mother Hubbard's. Now, I've been to Mother Hubbard's before, but I didn't go for the one that is called the Super Jumbo, which is, I think it's £16.50, but we'll find out when we get there. Now, Mother Hubbard's was started in Yorkshire, but there's now one in Nottingham, and they're taking over the country, basically. They're even opening up in London. I'll tell you a little bit of story about them as well, just here, because somebody famous, opened, a famous couple opened them up, Stan and Ilda Ogden. Let me read this to you. The first Mother Hubbard's fish and chips restaurant on Ingleby Road, Bradford, was completed at a cost of £92,000 pounds in 1972 and it was opened on the 3rd of May in 1972 by Coronation Street favourites Stan and Ilda Ogden. Uh, at the time fish and chips were just served at 45p per 45p per portion. That's insane. I'm, I'm, I can't believe that. That's nuts. Um, they've got a modern feel, but still with the traditional taste to take you back to your childhood. And that's what it does with me. It takes you back to your childhood memories of me going up to the Lake District with my mum and dad and stopping off for fish and chips. And it was always the ones that were in Yorkshire that were the best. And now we've got Yorkshire and we can experience the best of Yorkshire fish and chips from anywhere in the UK uh, via Mother Hubbard's. Uh, so we're off there today to try the Super Jumbo ones. Is it going to be as big as Murgatroyd's? And is it going to be uh, as tasty? Well, we're going to find out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, you know, you've got it. Let's go. You know, there's a running joke where Yorkshire's concerned, isn't there? Everybody makes jokes about Yorkshire. Hale and Pace did it for years with Yorkshire Airlines, etc. Because basically people in Yorkshire think that they are the best and everything that they do is the best. And I have to say, where fish and chips are concerned, they're probably right. In fact, I'm going to stick my neck out and say they're most definitely right because Yorkshire make the best fish and chips in the world but the big question is can you take fish and chips out of Yorkshire and put them somewhere else like in Nottinghamshire and they taste just as good because you're using people that maybe aren't from Yorkshire the guy that does the batter might be from Nottingham or he might be from Leicester or London wherever you're taking it to you're taking that essence of Yorkshire out of it because at the end of the day what makes Yorkshire Yorkshire is Yorkshire people because they know how to do it right it's in their blood it's in their heritage and that is why their fish and chips are so good so we're going to find out today if you could take Yorkshire fish and chips out of Yorkshire pop it in Nottingham and see whether they are as good as they are back in Yorkshire well let's find out tell you what has changed over the years with fish and chips is it used to be a cheap meal years ago in World War II uh, it was the only thing that I believe that wasn't on ration you could have as many fish and chips as you want my mum used to give me 50 pence when I was a kid and I'd go down and I'd get a bag of a bag of chips I think they're about 35 pence then for a bag of chips when I was a kid nowadays you have to think twice about taking the family out for fish and chips because it can come to well if there's a family of four it can come to well over 50 pounds if 
you're not careful and that is a whole lot of chunk of change especially in these current in this current climate in these times so that's the thing these days you've got to find that bargain i mean this what we're going for today which is the super jumbo one or whatever it's a huge meal I reckon you could probably feed, from looking at pictures on this, you could probably feed a family of three or four with this. You let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, come on, onwards. You know, being a Mansfield lad myself, I'll tell you the difference between fish and chips in Nottinghamshire and Leicestershire, etc., compared to Yorkshire, right? If you walk into a fish and chip shop here, I can guarantee you nine times out of ten, almost ten times out of ten, right, you will find behind the counter there is a doner kebab and they're selling doner kebabs they're selling pizzas and they're basically a jack of all trades whereas in yorkshire you go into a fish and chip shop it's very rare that you will find a doner kebab behind the counter or a pizza or that they sell pizzas etc because they concentrate on what they know best fish and chips Also, by the way, um, being born in Sutton and Ashfield or Mansfield, whatever you want to call it, um, here uh, in Nottinghamshire, cod is the biggest thing. Cod is the biggest seller. It was always cod as I was growing up as a child. But as I've gone to Yorkshire and I've got my family up there with Sarah, Harriet and James, I've found out now that it's haddock. Haddock is the big thing in, in Yorkshire and it's meatier. Haddock is meatier. It's a little stronger as well, but it's personal preference. You also say, a lot of people say that cod bottom feeders. Well, then you also get other people saying that haddock is also a bottom feeder. Let me know in the comments section down below. Is haddock also a bottom feeder? Because Sarah said to me, oh no, you don't have cod, it's a bottom feeder, you want haddock. But then I'm told, and I've been told before in the comments section, that haddock is also a bottom feeder because it's a white meat. So let me know in the comments section down below. And also, do you prefer cod or do you prefer haddock? I always remember, <laughs> always remember, start stammering there, uh, being at school, having uh, cod and chips and seeing a little maggot in it. And that stuck in my mind for years because I remember that. I thought, oh my word. And apparently that's a thing. It's just normal. You get maggots and little stuff in uh, in cod. So there we go. Let me know. Have you ever... Have you ever had cod and you've found a maggot in it? Let me know in the comment section. I haven't seen one since I was at school. Hopefully I won't get one today. Um, anyway, let me know in the comment section down below. Also as well, it's a controversial thing. What I've never had myself is gravy with fish and chips. In Yorkshire, apparently again, that's a thing. Gravy with fish and chips, uh, curry sauce with fish and chips, and mushy peas. Now, I always had mushy peas. I've only had curry sauce since I knew Sarah, because she likes curry sauce. She's not keen on mushy peas. I mean, come on, she's, she's a Yorkshire lass, and she's not keen on mushy peas. Everybody in Yorkshire likes mushy peas, don't they? I like my mushy peas, but they've got to be good. They've got to be right. I don't like them uh, soaky peas that I had once, which were, nah, not as nice. Funny taste. Got to be a good, got to be right, mushy peas. I'm a bit funny. And curry sauce, got to have a little bit of a kick to it as well. I also think, and some people like it, some people don't, Yorkshire tend to cook in beef dripping rather than in vegetable oils, and beef dripping gives it that 
it just gives it that edge it gives it a fantastic taste to it and the taste that i remember uh from my childhood going up to the lake district with my mum and dad stopping off in yorkshire for fish and chips and they were always done in beef dripping and you had your little uh wooden fork there as well eating them out the paper it was newspaper at the time in the back of the car and there was something magical about it you know and nowadays you've got them in these boxes haven't you and it's not quite the same having it in a box and it steams it as well a lot and also they put the they tend to put the chips and then the fish on top and my dad and my mum a lot of the time used to get the chips wrapped and then they'd have the fish separate and they'd even have their own <laughs> they'd have their own um they'd have their own salt and vinegar in the glove box and also their own forks as well um that's it i mean that's how much they loved their fish and chips go and if we were in a hurry my mum my dad would carry on driving and my mum would just feed him his fish and chips as he's driving you know it's childhood memories and it's it food like music and smells brings us brings our memories back from our childhood and brings that nostalgia back as well and fish and chips for me are very nostalgic from my childhood Right, here we are in Nottingham for some Yorkshire fish and chips. Let's uh, just park this car up. There we go. I never trust the sensors on the cars, do you? Has anyone had, ever had an accident and bumped into something with sensors on the car? Uh, let me know in the comments section. By the way, who remembers Ma Hubbard's? This is Mother Hubbard's, but there was a, I'm sure there was a pub chain called Ma Hubbard's and there was one in Mansfield which is now gone. But anyway, let's turn this milk float off uh, and let's get in there and try and find uh, out whether these fish and chips are any good and also how big they are. Are they massive or not? Let's find out. Right, I've told you about getting down that low. Come on, I'm a bit peckish now. Come on, too old for this. Hi, could I have the, um, you do that massive fish? I've got that large fish. Yeah. I've got a super jumbo. They're so going to go for the super jumbo, please. I'm going to have gravy, I'm going to have mushy peas. We're out of peas. I oh, you're out of peas? Yeah. You're out of peas? Yeah. Okay, we'll go gravy and curry sauce then. Okay. Uh, and I'll have, I'll have, ha ha. I am brew, thanks. Right, my friends, so I have ordered the Super Jumbo Fish XXXL, uh, which is 14.45. Now you'll see on the menu here, uh, there are two choices. You've got the Super Jumbo Fish and Chips at 16.95s. Uh, and I said, oh, why have you only charged me 14.45? She said, uh, I've charged you for the classic one, which is basically the same size fish. You just don't get as many chips. And I said, that's fine, because there's no way that I would eat that many chips. So we're absolutely fine with that. Um, anyway, take a closer look at the menu and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll dig into the fish and chips. Right, OK, 
okay my friends so we've got the fish and chips here we've got the gravy and we've got the curry sauce funnily enough uh, they didn't they've run out of mushy peas so obviously we're not in yorkshire because yorkshire would never run out of mushy peas would they i've never known that in a fish and chip shop before running out of mushy peas anyway we're going to give gravy a go this time now there's a difference i've never gone for gravy before uh, so we've got the chips we've got the fish here which is massive uh, absolutely huge uh, we've got the curry sauce the gravy in the chips so before we go any further you know the score take it closer look my friends Right, I think first things first, we're going to cut into this batter and see what this is like. Uh, so let's get this cut into. This fish is huge. I mean, just look, look at the size of that. Thing is, is it as big as the one that I had at Murgatroyd's? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's cut into this. Um, here we go. Let's uh, take this apart and have a look at this. There's your fish inside there. Nice and piping hot, by the way. So, let's go in first. Let's take a bit of this fish out here uh, and have a look. Let's get the knife and fork, plastic, there it is. There we go. Look at the size of that, how chunky that is. Absolutely huge. There uh, you've got the batter there as well. A tad anemic. Good taste. Good taste on the batter. A little bit greasy. But let's go in for the fish. very meaty look at the morsels on that okay a little watery i'm going to say a little watery on the watery side um hmm. okay let's have another go at that there you go check that out Okay. Very greasy. Um, I'm going to go in for the chips here. Let's go in for the, the gravy first. First for me, really. I don't normally have gravy with fish and chips. We're going to go for it. Gravy's nice. Very tasty. Nice and thick. And a good consistency to it as well. Look at that nice thick gravy there. Right, just going for the chips. So, open one of these chips up. There you go, fluffy. Have a look at that, tell me what you think. Let's dip one in the curry sauce. Okay. Curry sauce is not too spicy. I'm preferring the gravy on this one, to be honest. Um, I'm going to cut this fish open. Here we go, look at that. There you go. Check that out there. I'm going to reserve judgment on this until later. Here's the undercarriage of it. Okay, let's, um, let's cut this thing in half here and have a look. Here we go. Right. It's, as you can see, the fit, whoops, flipping out there. There's the fish. Let's take this out and have a closer look at this. There we go. No skin on the fish. Right, okay. I think I'm going to 
I'm going to reserve judgment on this just yet. I tell you what, though, that gravy. Very nice. I'm going to eat a little bit more and then I'll come back to you. I want to spark this iron brew open. Made in Scotland from Garda's. So I'm going to finish off here. Uh, I'm going to meet you guys outside and then we'll go through it. Got a little luxury uh, wet wipe there as well, which I'm going to use and I'm going to need because um, my hands are very greasy. And I'll see you guys outside in a minute. Right, my friends, let's get down to business here, shall we? Um, Yorkshire fish and chips. Well, I have been there before. Uh, get an electric motorcycle. What's all that about? <laughs> anyway, let's start again. Yorkshire fish and chips. Hmm, definitely not Yorkshire fish and chips. I have had them there before. You'll have to have a look back and see what score I gave them. I think they were better than that. Um, let's mark these separately anyway. Um, they're not a patch on what I had at Murgatroyd's the other day hi uh, they're not a patch on what i had the other day at murgatroyd's um not anywhere near the batter was very anemic really and it seemed a bit I know it sounds a bit daft to say it seemed a bit like a dirty batter i don't know it wasn't it wasn't nice and golden um and the fish itself which was haddock by the way was very wet uh, in fact it was really wet. It was a wet fish. Uh, in fact, almost as wet as when they got it out of the sea. It was not not good. Um, I mean, it was meaty, but very, very wet. Um, now, that's unusual and it's a bit off-putting. Um, I even had to scrape some of the moisture or water or whatever it was off of the top of it. So for me, uh, it didn't do it for me. And also, no mushy peas. What kind of fish and chip shop runs out of mushy peas? Uh, the gravy was lovely. The gravy was really nice, nice and thick. The curry sauce was tasteless. Um, the staff were very friendly, very nice staff in there. Um, obviously not as nice as Yorkshire folk, uh, <laughs> but um, no, they were, they were very nice. Um, 
but but the fish and chips were dreadful. I mean, massive fish and chips, massive disappointment. Um, the chips themselves a tad, a tad anemic. Not the best, not the worst chips I've had, but the fish was a major disappointment. Major, major disappointment. Not impressed at all. Um, super jumbo fish and chips super disappointment um score wise i feel a bit disappointed really and it just goes to show that you know when you have a, a great fish and chip shop like Mar hubbers probably was back in the day when it was opened up in bradford years ago um when you have a, a fish and chip shop a yorkshire fish and chip shop and you start to dilute the brand by having franchises of them or expanding it it doesn't work and it doesn't carry over and it's a little bit like if you look at harry ramsden's that was initially from yorkshire i believe um they went on a on a global scale harry ramsden's did but then it went downhill and you're better off going to a, a nice little fish and chip shop or murgatroyds which is not trying to be you know a, a massive chain or anything and you're better off going to places like that rather than franchises like this for me i don't believe it works um i've seen it i've seen businesses like this i've worked for businesses like this where they've expanded and they've had a really good business a good core business then they've expanded and it's just gone downhill i'm not talking particularly about fish and chip shops but when you start diluting the brand it doesn't work um, so, and that's why I, I never really expanded. I could have expanded my design company at one point and, and got bigger and bigger and bigger, but it, then you're taking away that, that uniqueness of it and it doesn't work. It's like if I'd have expanded my design business, it wouldn't have been me doing the work. And it's the same with fish and chip shops like this. So no, for me, score wise, I'm going to go with this. I couldn't even eat all of it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a 3.8, uh, really, really sorry, Mother Hubbards. Um, and a lot of that scores for the staff that work there because they're really nice. But was it an off day? I, I don't know. You tell me. I mean, that's I have seen, I've actually seen Mother Hubbards a, a review I reviewed one in Bradford once with my little girl and they weren't particularly great, they were better than them, but I've also seen a review from another channel uh, and they looked a lot better than them, so it, it is like I say, it depends on who you're going to get to do the batter and, do, and cook your meal that day I guess, doesn't it? But there's my score, I feel a bit disappointed with it, but anyway, back to Yorkshire I think if I want fish and chips, you can take you, you can take fish and chips out of Yorkshire, but then they're not, they're not proper fish and chips, are they? Anyway, that's all for me today. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I feel really disappointed in that. Click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Hit the thumbs up. Sorry, Mother Hubbards, but you didn't, uh, you didn't hit it. You didn't hit it out this time. No awards for you this time. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.